Let me introduce myself. I, I am Dr. Matthias Guiu. I am a medical doctor, scientist. I am a pathologist. So I, I see the cells, I look to the cells at the microscope every day. Healthy cells, but particularly cancer cells. So I, I work basically on cancer. And uh, I think similarly to you, I am examining the cells uh, like you examine the body. And sometimes my group is modifying the cells, modifying the genes of these cells, in my case, to understand what happens, to understand what happens in cancer. So sometimes I am also, we are also modifying genes to allow the cells to survive more. But since this, this is sometimes the problem of cancer, sometimes, many times we are doing just the opposite, modifying the cells to kill them. So in some way, I mean, I am all also playing with the, with the body. Although probably we will see that during our talk, my personal point of view regarding to the body may be a little bit different <laughs> than your personal point of view. I've always been interested in uh, augmenting the human body. Uh, you know, uh, my earlier projects, uh, I guess, explored the physical and psychological parameters of the body and uh, that made me realize uh, in fact how inadequate the human body is. And one of the purposes of your work is to improve the body. And well, uh, yeah, I, I think um, the word improve or enhance is something that we have to be careful of because of course this uh, creates a value judgment I mean what do we mean by improvement what do we mean by enhancement but I, I guess I'm more interested in the idea of exploring alternate anatomical architectures and what is surprising is that uh, according to recent uh, 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 thinking about evolution uh, evolution is still continuing. The problem is, of course, that it continues very slowly. And since we now inhabit a technological terrain of uh, fast, uh, very precise and very powerful machines, and uh, we now uh, are inhabiting a, a media landscape, uh, the internet, uh, wireless technologies, uh, uh, technologies that accelerate our human body in different ways, then we have to think that uh, perhaps evolutionary change is, is too slow and that uh, if we are to adapt to our technological environment, then we have to uh, consider um, design as a positive element in cyborgs because this is you know incorporating biomaterials and artificial technologies to, to the body do you think this is the solution to improve our body Using you know i think yeah i, I think that's a good question good because, question because um, um i don't, I don't Agree, agree that, that there, is there is one, one particular, particular direction, direction that we're, that heading, we're in. heading in. In other words, in other words I'm, I'm rather, rather uh, suspicious, uh, suspicious about, about the concept, concept of the singularity, singularity for, example. for example. Also, also ideas, ideas of cyborgs, of cyborgs um, um, these can these be can contestable, contestable uh, scenarios. You have also used living processes, and that brings me to one of the most popular artworks, which is the famous ear on the arm. Yes. And I would like to you to explain a little bit the rational, the problems that you get, the ethical problems that uh, you faced, probably. At, At least, least two of the three surgeons, surgeons 
uh, were never really convinced that it was uh, an art project. I mean, they couldn't understand why, why do this? Why construct an ear on your arm when I should be constructing an ear on, on, on a person who was born without an ear or who lost an ear in, in, a, in, a, in an accident? So, and I can understand that the medical community through necessity uh, has to be somewhat conservative and of course uh, they're in the business of repairing damaged bodies or healing uh, sick people so to do something like construct an extra ear one surgeon said to the other two surgeons well maybe this is a work of art but if it is we must be the artists. <laughs>